welkom bij de Arcade Saga. Um, yeah, today I have a, um, a sort of request for you guys. Just if you uh, would like to help me if you have the time. It's not that important, but I really would like to know because it's all about this Arcade. Let me uh, start um, a little story before I go into this uh, a bit more. Because um, the the yeah the the nice thing of uh, YouTube and the other growers is that you uh, of course can share information, but also you can find ideas, ideas for your uh, for your plant uh, plant names. Not only ideas how to grow them, but uh, the actual plant names I'm referring to in this uh, this video. Um, so I think this happened to me because I was watching one of I think it's she's called Spencer Spencer's Arcade. And she was at the show. She wasn't particularly filming this one, but she was filming uh, at a show. And I saw this argot, I think it is this one, just in the right hand um, side of the screen with a tag. And I, was, I wasn't really paying attention because I was following her, her lead through the show. And, but then it hit me that I thought this bloom does look so familiar. So I paused, did go back rewatched it and paused it again just at the, uh, at the right spot so I could read the tag have a close look at the blooms and I saw a hint of a bulb the shape of the bulb and I think all of those are exactly the same I must admit these bulbs now are a little bit sh shriveled well quite a bit I think it's it's okay because this one has a quite a big um, flower spike as you can see it's still opening and what this one also is doing already, well actually it started this one before the spike, is this uh, beautiful new growth. So it's taking up a, a lot of energy, but I, the plant shows to do this, so I'm, I'm just letting it. But if I see this, I always think, oh my god, I don't know, but it has its roots, it, the reservoir is okay, the fertilizer, it eats, it drinks, it does well, so I think it's okay. But um, yeah, so back to the, to the story. Uh, so I saw these uh, these blooms, and um, so I did check uh, check for the name. I looked it up, did check it uh, on on Google. I do Google it, and I found uh, a few pictures with the name, the same na name underneath uh, need that uh, that picture. So I do think it's the same one, but I was surprised um, about the parents. But uh, this is what I found as a name. So my uh, question to you guys is, if you have the time, would you look it up and let me know if you can confirm my idea of this name. If you uh, do agree or not. And why. If you don't, uh, don't agree, please let me know why. And before you do, let's notice the bloom. Red and a bit of pink, yellow in the center with a whitish lip here. But, maybe you noticed already. If they just open, it's yellow. And I noticed that because this will you will see this as well. If you're going to look it up at Google, some pictures the blooms do look more white at lips, the lip part, and some do look more yellow. And I think this is why, because like I said, when it just opens up, they are more yellow. So once again, this is the name Citronopsis Amethyst Gem. I'm sorry, it's hard to pronounce for me. <laughs> but the last part of the name, it does suggest it already. So this has a fairly, uh, a fairly uh, big part of Miltoniopsis in it. I have no idea. But the Miltoniopsis, as you probably may know, is, uh, is my, absolute, my absolute favorite orchid, if I really had to choose. But I love them. And, uh, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, and I love this one as well. So now I know probably why I was so attracted to this when I saw it in a... Uh, uh, yeah, I think it was in a garden center. It did catch my eye. There was only one of this and I just immediately... I came in the garden center. This was the first thing that I saw. I saw a lot of blooms, this one, and I just grabbed it. I thought I, I just want to have it. Because these, this one, these are my favorite colors in the blooms. Dark red. And yellow so the combination and the shape of this bloom is just perfect so I did bought it and I really like those bigger bulbs the odontoglossum type bulbs I like to call them the the more bigger ones I don't know why but I like the shape of it the look of it 
So this one is, uh, is, has quite a lot of things that I like in an orchid. And on top of it all, this is my number one fragrance-wise. You hear quite often, I think, people say that it's some orchids are rosary-like. The, the fragrance is rosary-like, like in Miltoniopsis. I, I do agree with it. Um, but this one, it's not rosary-like, it's just roses. Old English roses, if you ask me, it's so beautiful. This is absolutely my number one fragrance-wise. It's fantastic. Yeah, I can only describe it as Old English roses. If, if you know, and I know Old English roses are not, uh, have all the same fragrance, but they have a sort of particular fragrance to, to them, those type of roses. Yeah, and I, this one reminds me, uh, to those roses, absolute for 100%. It's beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, this one is a, uh, for me, was a must-have. But it was only one, and I was lucky enough to uh, to be able to buy this. But yeah, a beautiful big spike. I'm really impressed. But it takes its toll, I think. But like I said, it chose, uh, it chose to do this, so I think uh, it will be fine. I'm trusting my plant and let it do its thing. It's a healthy plant, so... But yeah, if you uh, want to uh, let me know, if you want to look up the name, please help me out. But I, th I really think I found it, because it, this one is a special one. That's why I'm asking you to help me out here, just if you have the time. If you don't like to do this, you don't have to, obviously. But it's just, uh, if you would like it, uh, would uh, really help me here. I really would like to know. So, um, yeah, a bit different video, but I thought it would be fun. So, uh, this is absolutely one of my favorite orchids. And I just want to share with you that as well. So beautiful. You guys, thank you for watching. And uh, as usual, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. And for now, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.